Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome back. This is Ventures 3. We are still in Unit 8, and this is Part 1 of today's lesson. It is for the 12th, and it is going to be page 102 in the book and page 96 in the workbook. We are also going to use another book that I'm going to refer you to, and it's called Roger's Thesaurus. And a thesaurus is a book that gives you synonyms. So if you're looking for a word that means something similar, and you don't want to keep using the same word over and over again, then you can either go to your dictionary and find a short list of synonyms, or you can go to the library or buy this book online, probably a used one, if you have uh, students at home that might want to use it, and it gives you Okay, so let's please take out our student book and open to page 102. And it says, before you read, talk with your classmates. Answer the questions. How many dates are there in the reading? That's right, there's five. And when we're reading a blog like this, it's from the bottom up because this is the last entry. So that would be either today or the last day that she did it. And all these are the prior entries. So the beginning of the story really starts at the bottom. Okay, so what is the reading about? So they, let's go over to the little red uh, box here. It says, scan the task text <laughs> text for specific information. Look quickly to find dates. When you find the information you need, stop reading. So that's scanning. You don't read everything. You just read until you find the information that you need. So what is the reading about? What we're going to do is read the first entry for each day, starting first sentence for each day, starting at the bottom on Monday. What does it say? Hello, fellow job searchers. Tuesday, today I went to a job fair at my college. Wednesday, I've been feeling depressed about the job search lately. Thursday, great news. Monday, I had my interview today. So the reading is about, please remember that I'm asking you to be speaking out loud so you can be practicing your English. Right, the interview is about Eden looking for a job and how she gets there. And the third question is, what is a blog? Right. So a blog is an entry on, on the internet that gives information about what this person is doing and thinking at a particular time. And it's usually a series each day or each week and it tells about a specific topic that that person is interested in or something that they're going through, which could be anything from gardening, automotive, mechanics, carpentry, job searching, fashion, house, <clears throat> movies, anything at all. Okay, so read the blog. Let's read the blog together, please. And we're going to start from the bottom and work up. Monday, 9.15. Hello, fellow job searchers. I have been looking for a job for several weeks. Everyone tells me that it's critical to network, so I've been telling everyone I know. I've been calling friends, relatives, and teachers to tell them about my job search. If you have any good job searching tips, please share them with me. So what does critical mean? 
So critical has several meanings. For example, if someone is critically ill, that means they are seriously ill. They are very ill. In this context, it says everyone tells me that it's critical to network. So here, critical would mean what? Okay, I hope you said very important. So it is very important to network. Okay, let's go up to Tuesday, 916. Today, I went to a job fair at my college. I filled out several applications and handed out some resumes. What is it? Resumes. Everyone, resumes. There were about 20 different companies there. Several of them said they were going to call me back. Wish me luck. Wednesday, 924. I've been feeling depressed about the job search lately, but my counselor at school told me that I shouldn't give up. He said I need to be patient. Today, I organized my papers. I made lists of the places I have applied to and the people I have talked to. I also did some more research online. So here's two words that I actually have on the board that are going to be part of um, a workbook lesson, but we'll go over them now. So depressed. There's a clinical term, depressed, which is depression, but people use this word very loosely today when they say, oh, I'm so depressed. Well, what do they mean? It means they are in low spirits. There is not, they're not in high spirits, they're in low spirits. So the spirit is the feeling that you have inside of you of happiness or sadness, right? Next, another uh, word for depressed might be despair. You're very worried, you don't know what to do, you're despairing. Another, dejected. Uh oh It means I'm putting my head down because I feel low, because my spirits are low and I feel dejected. I'm losing hope. So depressed and low spirits, despair, dejected are all negative feelings. The other word that was in here that I wanted to review was patient. So patient also has many meanings, one of which is if you're in the hospital um, and you're sick or going through an operation, then you are a patient in a hospital. However, it can also be a feeling. So to be have patience means that you are very tolerant. It means you are more lenient. The opposite of tolerant would be intolerant. The opposite of lenient would be what? That's right, strict. Someone who's strict, you have to do everything precisely, exactly, and at that time. Someone who is a little more lenient says, okay, take a few more minutes, relax and think about it, and then come back and finish. Another Synonym for patient is gentle. Another patient, kind. Patient, unhurried. This was kind of a fun word that I had never heard of before. Um, so if you're in a hurry, you are definitely not being patient. But the opposite of being in a hurry is unhurried. And that's an actual word. So that was kind of fun. Okay, so that takes care of Wednesday. Let's hop over to Thursday. Uh, excuse me, go up to Thursday. 9.25. Great news. One of the companies from the job fair finally called me back. I've been preparing for the job interview all day. I'm really excited. I'm going to have a practice interview with some classmates today that will prepare me for the real one. Monday, 929. 
I had my interview today. I gave the interviewer a big smile and a firm handshake. I answered her questions with confidence. I'll let you know if I get the job. So here's another word that I've put on the board, and that word is confidence. It means you are self-assured. What's the small word in assured? Sure. You are sure of yourself. So when you are confident and sure of yourself, people feel that and, and, and you feel it too. If you're confident, you are also self-possessed. You are in possession of your feelings and your emotions. You're not worried. You're not thinking about something else. You're confident about what you're doing. Okay, so now I would like us to do a listening lesson. And uh, please do not look at the page. I want this to be a strict listening lesson, but it is going to be Eden's blog. Page 102, exercise two. Eden's blog. Monday, 9-29. I had my interview today. I gave the interviewer a big smile and a firm handshake. I answered her questions with confidence. I'll let you know if I get the job. Thursday, 9-25. Great news! One of the companies from the job fair finally called me back. I've been preparing for the job interview all day. I'm really excited. I'm going to have a practice interview with some classmates today. That will prepare me for the real one. Wednesday, 9-24. I've been feeling depressed about the job search lately, but my counselor at school told me I shouldn't give up. He said I need to be patient. Today, I organized my papers. I made lists of the places I have applied to and the people I have talked to. I also did some more research online. Tuesday. 916. Today, I went to a job fair at my college. I filled out several applications and handed out some resumes. There were about 20 different companies there. Several of them said they were going to call me back. Wish me luck! Monday, 915. Hello, fellow job searchers. I have been looking for a job for several weeks. Everyone tells me that it's critical to network, so I've been telling everyone I know. I've been calling friends, relatives, and teachers to tell them about my job search. If you have any good job searching tips, please share them with me. page 102 in our uh, student book. So now I would like us to please go to the workbook and page 96. I don't have a Q, can't do the QR. So what we're going to do is to um, read the blog first and then come back and answer the questions on top. All right, so I read it from the bottom up. You were listening from the top down. I prefer to start from the bottom when reading these, even though if I'm reading a blog, of course, I start from the page that they're doing it. Okay, Monday, 3-2. The first day in my new job. All morning, I filled out forms for the Human Resources Department. In the afternoon, I met the other people on my team and learned how to use the copier. There's a lot to learn, 
but I'll try to be patient. Tuesday, 3-3. Three, three. I've been trying very hard to talk to everyone here because it's important to network. I'm not very confident yet, but I have been smiling at everyone and introducing myself. Most people are really friendly, but some are too serious. They don't say much. Wednesday, 3-4. Today, I went to lunch with two of my co-workers. I think I'm starting to make friends here. They told me it's hard work. I'm worried about that, but I'm not going to give up. Thursday, March 5th. Today, I was really tired. I almost fell asleep on the train coming home. I was too tired to cook dinner and fell asleep in front of the TV. This job is harder than I expected. I feel a bit depressed. Friday, 3-6. It's been a busy week. I've been learning a lot, and I'm excited about learning more. So I would like to quickly go over the vocabulary uh, that I've written on the board because they're using it over and over on these two pages. Number one, confident. What is it? Good. I hope you're saying this out loud. Confident means you are sure of yourself. You are assured. It means you are in possession of your emotions. You are self-possessed. The next word, depressed. It means low in spirit, despair. You feel dejected. The next is excited. Happy, thrilled. The next, patient. Tolerant, lenient, gentle, kind, unhurried. And the next, serious. Sober, unplayful, severe, grave. So grave is a very serious word. Very often you hear about it on the news when they talk about the weather or the situation. They'll say the situation is becoming very grave. That means it's becoming very serious. Okay, so let's answer the questions. Number one, who wrote the blog? Answer, Ivan wrote the blog. Number two, what is the blog about? It is about Ivan's, Ivan's new job. How long has the writer been writing the blog? That's right. He has been writing the blog for five days. Number four, what does the writer ask, the, ask readers to do? Actually, we didn't share this when we were reading it, and for some reason when I did this um, as practice, I completely ignored this part of his email. But along the bottom here, it says, and he puts it in bold letters, but for some reason I just completely missed it. So it says, if you have any tips about starting a new job, please share them with me. So. What does the writer ask readers to do? Okay, so he asks them to share tips with him about starting a new job. Okay, so that's what we have for the um, workbook on page 96, and the next time we'll go on to page 103 in the book and 97 in the workbook.